Uh, well, what did the official opposition make of the statement today from the First Minister? Let's find out and speak to Sandesh Gulhani from the Scottish Conservatives. Good evening to you, Sandesh. Good evening. Uh, well, what do you make of, of what we've, we've uh, heard from the First Minister this afternoon? We welcome uh, the change, uh, the changes that have been made, and something that we've been calling for weeks uh, about. But the one thing that has shocked, surprised, and actually angered me uh, is Nicola Sturgeon consistently refusing uh, to publish the data. So uh, a question that I asked, that Douglas Ross asked uh, in chamber, was about uh, would the Scottish government publish the the data that it bases its decisions upon? And instead of saying yes or no. Uh, Nicola Sturgeon uh, then proceeded to misrepresent my position on restrictions rather amazingly, um, but then worse than that, said that she doesn't have a lot of data that we're asking for. So my well, question well, is, if we're yeah. using crude data, we're going to get crude results. Surely yeah. the First Minister and the Scottish Government have a lot of data to base their decisions upon, because if they don't, then that's even more worrying. What, what data would you like to see that you, that, that you don't have at the moment, Sandesh? Absolutely. So what I'd like to see is the, all the, the information that's given to the Scottish government when they come to make the decisions. So when they sit down as a cabinet and say, right, would we, are we extending restrictions? Are we going to reduce restrictions? Are we going to be putting face masks into schools? You know, all those decisions will need to be backed up by evidence. Not surely we're not just going to be basing our decisions, as has been suggested by Nicola Sturgeon today, upon the crude numbers of, of people who are admitted to hospital and the number of cases. That's surely not the only thing. We want, there must be more, it needs to be more nuanced because we need to drill down into these figures and see what's relevant, what's not, uh, and to see which way things are going. So uh, and well, it's what, that information what, what, what are you, like. are, are, are you sort of thinking then that, that in fact that the Scottish Government is overreaching here or overreacting um, given, the, given the data? Do you imagine that when you do see this data that in fact it will, you know, your take on it will be that we're going too far? Sandesh, hello. Oh, hello. Sorry, you, uh, sorry. Just, you broke up. We, we, I didn't hear that question. So, I'm sorry. So, uh, when you have have the data, what, what is your fear here? What what, what are you what, what are you worried about in in, in terms of um, is it overreach from the Scottish government that you're worried about around restrictions here? Would you like to see a, a relaxation potentially? What I've always wanted, uh, I, I've been in favour of a number of restrictions that have come in because they've been required and and, and necessary, and I've been public talking about face masks, I mean public talking about vaccination, saying we absolutely need to go down there. But it's a lot of restrictions we have and it's been there for a long time and the Scottish people are struggling and they're, what we would like to see is the information that they're basing the decision on. Because for example, if we see a lot of people in ITU who are unvaccinated, maybe that would then convince some people who are unvaccinated to think, oh my God, I need to go and get a vaccine. It might be that we see that there's a lot of people in hospital who come in uh, and either catch COVID in hospital or uh, come in and then happen to have COVID rather than going in because of COVID. Now, that's relevant because the Delta variant is different to the Omicron variant. So we can't just be looking at crude Delta figures. We need to be a little bit more specific and use data and information that's specific to Omicron, which will allow us to make better decisions. It's impossible to say whether the government is overreaching or anything without seeing the information the Scottish government well, has. I mean, I mean a, a what crucial, we're for. surely a crucial piece of data will be what David Porter has just told us that there was 3.7 million people um, estimated to have COVID in the UK on New Year's Eve. A week before that, it was 1.4 million. Doesn't that tell you all you need to know in, in in terms of restrictions and and whether or not the Scottish government is overreacting here? It, it, it's 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 important information. Absolutely, that's important information. But what we need is a bit more information. We need not just that, but we need to be seeing other things because we need to be seeing what's the modelling saying about what's going to happen in the future because that's how you base your decisions. You don't, you don't always base it on just the past. You, might, you must be doing modelling to see, you know, if we make this intervention or that intervention, what type of things are going to happen to the population. And that is what we need to see. That's what will give us the reassurance of what's happening that would help people understand and it will help the people of Scotland understand why restrictions are coming in and why they are the way they are. And, well, and that's uh, the, the, the key. First, I mean, the, the, the Scottish I government, the, the, government the, the Scottish government may well say, well, in actual fact, the Tories are in charge in England and currently one in 15 people in England have COVID. Here in Scotland, it's one in 20. 
figures. So Nicola Sturgeon herself just said it's it's not a competition. Um, but you 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 heard John Sweeney giving you completely wrong information on the uh, on the pro on on the program yesterday. But the, the fact is. The, the numbers. No, we, in did, we, we didn't. Are, are just driven, to be clear, John. Sorry, Sweeney, not your program. John's... In in the morning morning program. So um, the figures in England are, are mostly driven by London, uh, and so if you take London out of it, I don't think that, that our numbers are going to be that dissimilar. Um, but the fact is, okay, okay. we're looking at data, and that is crucial. And, and, and in a live session of Parliament, being misrepresented by First Minister is totally unacceptable. OK, we leave it there. Sandesh Gulhani of the Scottish Conservatives, thanks indeed for your take on that.